Hi, this is Gary Fong, and in this quick video, I'm going to teach you how to achieve perfect color using the gray dome. Now, the gray dome is basically something that you put into a photograph to measure the light that's falling onto your subject. So it's very important when you do the measurement, uh, you take the photo like this with the uh, dome right next to your subject's face. And you'll notice that it's half round, just like a person's face. This is superior to, like in the old days when we used to have a gray card or uh, a little reflector panel like this with neutral gray in it, because you'll notice if I move this around, uh, just a little bit, the color slightly changes as does the exposure. And so it has to be, of course, dead onto the lens in order for to make it work. This solves that problem by being able to pick up the light completely coming onto your subject. So there might be a window light over here, there might be incandescent light overhead or a red wall to the side. It'll all factor in into choosing the neutral. So the first step would be to take a picture with the dome right next to your subject's face and then remove it for the rest of the shoot and I'll show you with a model shoot how that works. Then using your photo editing software, in this video I'm going to teach you how to do it using Lightroom but you can do the same thing with Photoshop or any of the other uh, photo editing tools. Simply use the first photograph to measure the light correct out all the color cast, and then for all of the rest of the photos, apply that same filter uh, for the remaining balance of the photos. As long as the light doesn't change at all, you've got yourself perfect color. Okay, so let's go to the model shoot, and then we'll go to Lightroom. Shot The first one that we take, and, um, and so that'll be the reference. Go ahead and, and uh, put that down. Yeah, and we'll just do a few shots like this. Good. Okay. Back lens. Okay, good. Perfect. Now okay, so now I have loaded up all these images from my library into the develop menu, and I'm going to grab this thing right here, which is my neutral measurement tool. Click it once, and you can see that it's a very large measurement area. I can almost get our entire eyeball in, right? So that's why we go here, click once in the middle, boom, and now I've got accurate color. So, in order to fix all of these, assuming the light didn't change, we'll just do this really quick. We're going to save a new preset, preset, and it's and it's called Untitled, so we'll call it Shady Tree. And you notice all of these are selected. We don't want to re remember all of that. We only want to remember the white balance, and then we'll hit Create. So now we have a preset right here. See that? It's called Shady Tree. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of the images like that and you'll see that the reference images is in white with the shady tree and all these other ones are in light gray if I hit sync boom it'll ask for the white balance synchronize with the rest and check this out they're all now perfectly white balanced exactly like they were because the lighting didn't change